So we will see uh, the king and queen ride in that royal carriage. That is the golden anniversary wedding coach. You will remember that we saw Queen Margreta ride in that coach as she made her way to Christian Borg Palace. But now, of course, she has abdicated and the new monarchs begin their reign. They will then take that golden anniversary wedding coach back to Amelienborg Palace, which is the royal residence. That is where uh, Mary and Frederick reside. Uh, we might actually try and take a listen in uh, at the uh, military band there. Let's try and listen in.
that procession is continuing through the streets of Copenhagen. Queen Mary and King Frederick, they're waving. They look so happy. They look like they're ready. They've been preparing for this moment for some time. And what a treat for the hundreds of thousands of people who have braved the cold weather, braved the conditions to come out, to line the streets, to greet, to congratulate and to pay tribute to their king and queen, but to also give their thanks, of course, to Queen Margareta, who has abdicated after 52 years on the throne. And what a treat they have been given, seeing the king and queen on the balcony a short time ago after the proclamation had ended, after that succession, sealed with a kiss as the family on the balcony before, including the new uh, prince, uh, Christian, of course, who now becomes the crown prince, the new heir to the throne, was also there with Mary and Frederick's uh, other children. But there they are passing through in that golden anniversary wedding coach. It's quite a significant coach for those who don't know. It was actually built in 1892. And if you look closely, it actually has the arms and crowns of the old king and queen. That's King Christian IX and Queen Louise. But it also has the Danish coat of arms. So it is a very significant, a very well-respected ride that is taking them back to uh, Amelienborg there. Caroline, you can just see the, the smile, the, the jubilation on the public's face as their new king and queen make their way through the streets. This is a real treat for them, but it just also goes to show how proud they are of as a nation. Absolutely, and there's this beautiful uh, feature that I am I saw a little earlier. There's these beautiful banners that are, um, are hung and they say the word mercy, and the M is in the Queen's monogram. And wow. I thought to myself, that is such a simple, uh, elegant and really thoughtful touch because, like you said, yes, it is about ushering in the new generation, but it is also a big thank you for uh, over half a century of service.